This is the book, The Natural Limits to Biological Change, by uh, Lester and Bolin. Um, this book, I think, sums up what I'm calling the final proof that evolution is not true. Um, it pretty much agrees with what I think um, would be the appropriate assessment if we look at what's really going on in the world of biology. And that is that uh, organisms have a certain amount of variability and, it cha and, it, and it, um, it's limited and that's all there is to it. So when I'm speaking of evolution, I'm talking about Darwinian evolution where one thing leads to another, which leads to another, which leads to another, which leads to another, leads to another without end. Let's take dogs, for instance. Everybody's familiar with dogs, and um, dog breeders have been um, subjecting the dog uh, genome to uh, extreme um, stresses. And I think that between the Chihuahua and the St. Bernard, we've seen the complete uh, expression of, of the dog gene. I don't think that there's anything left in there. And if you want to uh, extend it to wolves and coyotes and foxes, for instance, um, we can take the fox, which is pretty much seems like it's no longer able to interbreed with the dog kind. So the fox is the next thing for the fox is extinction. It's not going to turn into something else. I think that's the real assessment of what's going on. One of the interesting things in this book, it talks about the you know, mathematical probabilities of trying to get useful information out of random uh, inputs. And what I'm calling random input, of course, is um, natural environments acting on um, atomic, the, the atomic elements that are available <coughs> on the face of the earth, which is what mostly um, hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, and so forth. Um, in order to construct one 20 letter and space sentence from Shakespeare to be or not to be, that is the question. In order to um, get that sentence from monkeys typing randomly, the calculation is for one um, trillion monkeys typing at 10 letters per second for 15 billion years. So basically you got 10 letters times 3600 seconds times 12 hours times 24, um, or, I'm sorry, time, yeah, 12 hours times, well, be two, times 24 hours times 365 days times 1.5 times 10 to the 27th times 10 to the 15th monkeys. That's what you need. That's a lot more resources and time that's available even at the oldest estimates of the universe. Um, and, you know, this one sentence has to be connected if this sentence is going to correspond to an amino acid. Um, it has to connect to a similar amino acids in order to make any kind of a biological um, meaningful um, molecule. Um, so if it takes that long to get the one sentence, and by the way, you have to have another sentence like it in the, in the vicinity that connects in the right way, the, I mean, the whole thing becomes a mathematical impossibility very quickly. Um, and the way um, organisms are constructed, they're more like books of information, and you have to get an entire, let's say you wanted to make a change like um, the Darwinian expectation for biological um, organisms to change, 
you would need to um, take a book and have um, coherent chapters rearranged, not just you know um, one letter at a time randomly um, um, mutating. You really have to have entire coherent chapters being rearranged. Um, this is just something that's totally outside of the pale of Darwinian orthodoxy. So it seems to me that the the correct interpretation of uh, biological systems and, and organisms in terms of change is, um, as this book states, uh, limited, natural limitations, um, that the full expression of an, um, a genetic type um, take place very rapidly and then the expression is exhausted. There's, no, there's nowhere else to go. And I think that's what we're going to find. It's, of course, it's biblically the correct idea. And it's only a matter of time. You know, um, people keep trying to um, uh, keep the ev uh, Darwinian evolutionary ideas alive. But they're just, they come up against <laughs> no proof. What's really being proved, what we can really observe, is this limitation idea that there's, there's limitations to the expressions of the different types. And that's what really we're observing. Darwin's ideas um, do not correspond to uh, observable reality. That's all there is to it. So I um, look forward to uh, um, comments and feedbacks and, um, and something that would actually challenge this idea of um, natural limits to biological change.